Hi everyone, this is Nora from Nora Brown Design. A lot of uh, website owners have a need to resize an image every now and again, but they don't need all the complicated functionality of Photoshop. Um, given how expensive it is, uh, I thought I would look at a couple of free online options for resizing photos. And the first one is picnic.com. And it's my favorite. The home page is a little cluttered, but if you just go to the Upload Photos button, you can upload a photo to resize. And this one is pretty small already, but um, we can go to the Resize button. And one nice thing about Picnic is it has uh, some little pop-up windows with instructions, uh, which you can turn off, but they're helpful if you need them. And so the width we're going to say down to 100, keep proportions, OK. And then we can save it to our desktop just by going to the Save and Share tab, and then clicking Save Photo. And we'll just save it as small. And that is super easy. If you set up an account and log in, you can save photos, bring photos in from Flickr or Picasa, and do all kinds of other things. So the next one up is Photo Flexor. And it is also pretty straightforward. We'll click Upload, select our image. And then you've got uh, all these various effects and things you can do. Now let's see, we want to click resize and um, we'll just again do it down to 100 pixels and apply. And now how do we get our image out of here again? We can click um, save, save to my computer. And unlike the uh, picnic and some of the other options, it doesn't give you any quality settings, but um, we can get our picture. The next one I'm going to check out is Photoshop.com. And this is the only one that requires you to sign up and have a username and login. So I'm going to click Upload Photos. Um, no. So select our same photo and whatever, just upload it please. Okay, done with that. And to resize, we will edit. resize and type in our custom dimensions here and click finish. So I think this interface surprisingly is pretty clunky and it's hard to figure out where things are. Much like Photoshop itself I think there is just a little too much going on and um, a little, a few too many options perhaps. So to get our photo out again, we're going to click Save, Save, A Test, PSD, Small, Save. Last one up is Pixlr.com, and it is also a really nice, straightforward editor. So I'm going to click Open Image Editor and Open Image from Computer. And we'll select our same image again. And um, this is really set up like a desktop application. So you've got your menus um, across the top here and their pull down menus. So we're going to go to image, image size, and select 100. OK. And just like in Photoshop or any other desktop app, we're going to go to File, Save and um, 
it does give you a quality setting which you can change so we're just gonna save that and that is also nice and easy so I think the top two for me are Picnic and Pixlr for absolute ease of use um, if you just want to get in resize an image and get out again